the funniest one, one of the later ones, when he was at the Royal Festival Hall as a guest with Acker Bilk. He was billed as Nathaniel Charles Ganella. I think it was in the, in the 60s, I think it must have been the 60s. And he was just a guest starter to play three numbers with a band. <coughs> and uh, he, in there, in the early sort of evening, he saw this nice young lady sitting at, sitting at the table having a drink. And we were up, up two tiers up, so we went down and met her. He told me to uh, have, a, see, have a talk to her. I said, no, you want to talk to you, then we'll do it yourself. And we go and sit down, he said, hello, miss. He, he said, uh, hope you come to see me today. So he said, I'm Nathaniel Charles Ganella. And she said, really? He said, yes. So she said, oh, that's nice, nice to talk to you. So he got her a drink and sat down. And he said to her, do you come here, very, do you come here often? She says, oh, four or five times a year, something like that. So he said, do you ever, have you ever seen what happens, goes on out the back of this place? So she said, no. So he said, would you like to see it? She said, yeah, I wouldn't mind. So he said, well, come with me. The next thing that said to me, when, <coughs> when, they, when they play, uh, when the saints go marching in, <coughs> bang on the dressing room door and I'll be ready. So, okay, now, because I knew he was going to have a little bit of fun here and there. Anyway, they, Ackerville was running late, so they cut it out and started playing Georgia. I went, run down the corridor, Jack, Nat, you're on, they're playing Georgia. He said, when you tell them when they're playing St. James, they said, didn't play it. Oh my God, he says. So he goes out, his brace is hanging down, <laughs> and half his jacket in one arm and nothing in the other arm. And to make things look good, he fell over the drums as he went in. So he would get his coat on his trumpet ready. And Ackerville said it was the best he'd ever heard him play for years. So, and so well that the audience wanted, and he stayed with Ackerville all the evening, doing all the numbers. And after that, this young lady was looking for Mr. Ganella. <laughs> as I'd already moved his car from the car park to Waterloo Station. And <laughs> She said to me, have you seen him? I said, no, I haven't seen him. And that was it, that's how we left it. When we moved to Wembley, I started washing, brush, washing out, brushing, grooming the horses for Mitchell, Mitchell's the Bakers. They had six carts, six horses. I used to get uh, £1.10 ten shillings be there at six o'clock in the morning and wash them all out. And, and, and the evening used to do a bit and straight down the record shop before it closed. All the money went. <laughs> See, my father was in the dance band business. That's when I started collecting records, because he had a lot of records. That's what made me interested in records, because I wanted to get records of my own. But when we got bombed, we lost a lot of them. Lost, lost loads of them. <laughs>